This is Darren Marielius, CTO and founder of SDM Software and the GPOGuy.com website. SDM Software is the leader in solutions for group policy management. Today I'm going to walk you through a quick demo of our powerful group policy automation engine. The automation engine, or GPAE as I like to call it, lets you finally manage settings within group policy objects or GPOs using PowerShell or .NET. The GPAE is literally an SDK for group policy and enables automation of group policy management tasks that before now was really impossible. Let's take a quick look at the product in action and see how you can quickly and easily automate your group policy management tasks. Before we get started, one thing to note about the group policy automation engine is that it supports a variety of policy areas, including administrative templates, security, various security settings within the security area, software installation, folder redirection, IE maintenance, and group policy preferences, including the ability to script or automate both the creation of all different group policy preferences as well as item level targeting. So let's just dive in and give you a quick demo of how the product works. If you're familiar with PowerShell, then the screen in front of you looks pretty familiar. I'm going to go ahead and fire up a commandlet that ships with our product called Get GetSDMGP Object. And in the syntax that I just used, I'm essentially seeing what's, what's the local GPO on this particular system. So GPAE has the ability to manage both domain-based GPOs as well as uh, local GPOs on either the local or remote system. So if I, for example, wanted to get a reference to a GPO on a remote server to the, to the local GPO, I could go ahead and call get STM GP object and pass in a GPO name that is essentially a path to the server. STM2 is the name of the server and local indicates it's the local GPO. I can now read and write settings out of that local GPO on that remote server. And of course, the power in the Group Policy Automation Engine comes with its ability to manage GPOs in Active Directory domains. So let's go ahead and show the syntax for connecting to one of those. I'm going to go ahead and paste in a command here that essentially calls get SDM GP object, passes a GPO name, and a path to a domain called cpanel.com and, and a GPO name called GPAE demo. The open by name parameter lets me open it using the friendly name rather than the GUID. If I go ahead and hit enter and type dollar GPO, you'll see a number of characteristics about the GPO in question. And essentially what I've done here is connected to the GPO, contained, created a reference to the GPO where I can now perform operations on. For example, if I wanted to get uh, the value of a particular setting within administrative templates policy, I'm going to go ahead and paste in some script code here. And what you see is that I've created a reference to a variable called setting, calling into the GPO, and providing the path that you would see if you were in the GP editor. So under computer configuration, admin templates, system logon, always wait for the network at computer startup and user logon. And if I go ahead and call a property on that setting called state, it's going to return a value, in this case zero, that tells me that this particular setting is disabled. Now that's all well and good, but how about if I want to actually enable the setting from within the group policy automation engine? Well, that's also pretty straightforward. If I go ahead and instead of calling a get on the state, I'm going to call put on that state property. And I'm going to go ahead and set the state to enabled. What you see here is I've created a put on the state property and using an enumeration that's part of the group policy automation engine, setting that to enabled, and then calling save on the setting. And once I called save on the setting, that change is actually committed to the GPO. If I go back up here and click get and say get state, you'll see that the value has changed to one. That's also been persisted in the GPO in Active Directory. So admin templates are one aspect of the policy automation engine, but there's a lot more that you can do with it. For example, I could uh, go ahead and manipulate user rights assignment within the security part of a GPO. So for example, I have the allow logon locally user right. I want to go ahead and see what the current value is for one of that within a demo GPO. So I'm going to go ahead and get a reference to my demo GPO, 
once again create a reference to a setting that calls into a path that looks very similar to what you see in the group policy editor. So there's no difference here between what I'm doing within security settings and what I'm doing within administrative templates. The only difference is now I'm calling into a different property, in this case the value property, which tells me what is stored within this particular setting. And when I go ahead and hit enter, you're going to see here that it returns a collection of three user groups in this case two user groups and one actually three user groups that return that have this particular user right assigned to them and again I, I, I can not only can I get the properties uh, or the the values of a particular policy I can go ahead and set them as well and I'm gonna go ahead and do that here I'm gonna paste in a piece of script code that lets me actually go ahead and add a group to this particular GPO so I've got a new group here called Help Desk Admins. I'm going to go ahead and append that using this property append operator to the value property. And here's where I append the value. And then once again call save on that setting. And now if I go back and, and do a get on that value, you'll see here that I've got now my Help Desk Admins group. And that's again been persisted to that GPO. So lots of things that you can do with the group policy automation the last thing I'm going to show you quickly is the ability to do group policy preferences using the group policy automation engine I'm going to paste in some script code that essentially creates a drive mapping group policy preference now what I'm doing here is I'm again creating a reference to the GPO once again getting a path to the particular uh, part of the namespace where group policy preferences is stored, user configuration preferences, Windows settings, drive maps, adding a new mapping, calling it the P drive, setting the action just like you would see in the UI for group policy, uh, for group policy preferences, assigning a drive letter, a share to that drive, whether it should reconnect at logon, whether it should be removed if it no longer applies, the order of it, as you know there's ordering within group policy preferences and then a label as value and then finally calling the save and once I do that I've actually committed the setting to group policy to the group policy object called GPAE demo now what I could also do and I don't have time in my demo for is I could give you show you how to write script code to actually add a item level target to this to test for group membership for this drive mapping so I might want this drive mapping to only apply to members of my marketing users group and I can actually audit, automate the creation of that drive mapping or that group check, that group test, that item level target within this particular group policy preference item. Thank you for watching this demo of the group policy automation engine. I encourage you to visit our website at www.sdmsoftware.com to get more information about our products or register for an evaluation version of the automation engine. Give it a spin, let me know what you think. I think you'll see that the power of the group policy automation engine is unique and enables some really interesting automation scenarios. Thank you.